Hello again everyone, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the NPC's envelope generator under the sample editor. Alright, let's go take a look. Okay, so in front of us is a simple project that consists of guitar samples. We're going to focus on pad 16 under bank A for the time being. Alright, so now let's go into the menu, let's go into program edit. We have several options down here, several menus rather, but I'm going to focus in on the envelope generator. So the envelope generator consists of three parts. You have your primary functions, your envelope generator curve, and your velocity modulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain all of these from left to right. So first of all, what is an envelope? Well, an envelope simply put is a modulator that changes the value of something depending on what it's patched to. The NPC has three envelope generator types underneath the sample editor. One, you have the amp envelope. Two, you have the filter envelope. And then three, you have the pitch envelope. I'm going to explain each of those one by one. All right, so again, from left to right. So we have a primary function here called level. And right now it's set to zero decibels. So let's take a look at something really quickly. So, the lower the level, the softer my sample. The louder the level, the louder the sample. Okay, that pretty much squares away part one. Second, we have the amp envelope. So what does this envelope curve do? Well, simply put, this envelope curve is responsible for turning the level knob automatically based on the parameters that we set. So right now we're looking at a simple attack decay knob. Based on what this is telling us is that this envelope curve will turn this knob to its maximum level in zero seconds. However, if I dial the attack over by, oh, say, hmm, 30 milliseconds, I believe this is, then you'll hear a slight fade in. If I make it more drastic, it takes a little bit longer to fade in. So let's play around with this a bit. So you see, that's what the attack phase of the envelope generator is doing. The decay phase does the exact opposite. It determines how long it takes for the sample to fade out. And so there we have it. In a nutshell, that's what the attack phase and decay phase are responsible for. And again, all that's happening right here is that this envelope curve is turning this knob automatically. Okay, next up we have velocity modulation. The way velocity modulation works is the harder I tap the pad, the more intense the effect of the envelope generator. So if I dial the amp attack up to 127, notice that and what I'm doing right now is I'm tapping the pad at random velocities and notice the harder I tap the pad the more intense the effect now we're going to talk about the filter envelope for all intents and purposes, we're dealing with the exact same scenario. The only difference is, is that this time the envelope generator is responsible for moving the filter cutoff knob. There is one additional feature, and that is the depth. The depth knob determines how much effectiveness, or how effective rather, the envelope generator will be as it relates to the cutoff. For now, I'm going to dial the depth up to 127. All right, so now let's demonstrate. Another thing that I wanted to mention was 
because the envelope generator is responsible for dialing this parameter to its highest possible value with the depth set with, with the depth set at 127 that is what we're going to do is we're going to dial the cutoff down so then that way we have some space to maneuver <laughs> And so now, as opposed to having a fade in, the low pass filter is slowly opening. And there we have it. Part number three, the pitch envelope. Again, the exact same scenario. The only difference is, is that this time around, the envelope generator is responsible for modulating the pitch and semitones. The depth this time around, if you notice, is bipolar, has negative values, positive values. That's because we can either modulate the pitch downward or modulate the pitch upward. I'll demonstrate. <laughs> So now what's happening is, is that we have a pitch glide from a negative value. In subtle amounts, it creates a rather pleasant tone. Okay, so now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's go to the effects section. Let's apply, hmm, let's see, some modulation. Let's double tap ensemble. There we are. We have a nice little effect there. Let's go to samples. I'm going to reverse my sample. Okay, let's go to our envelope generator again. Let's go to the filter. <laughs> let's see here. I'll leave the amp envelope at its neutral position because the filter envelope is kind of sort of causing a fade in anyway. And then beyond all of that, we reversed our sample here. So basically all I've done here is I've just created this ethereal texture based off a guitar sample. And there we have it. Okay guys, I'm hoping that that was helpful. So when it comes down to envelope generators, just remember the envelope generator curve is simply responsible for turning the knob of the primary feature or the primary function. So again, hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions about envelope generators or sample editing, please let me know. Just drop a question in the comments. Until then, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.